guest here today on this Monday, and Ed Butowski is with us once more as well. We've had Ed on with us before. Financial strategist, money manager, internationally recognized expert in the investment wealth management industry, uh, and has been in the financial services industry for over 22 years. Ed, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's good to have you. Brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Ed, I'm understanding that there's a, a new law that has been signed into being, and uh, it actually is a pretty good one for folks uh, who have been saving or maybe have even fallen behind on their savings. Yeah, it's called the Secure 2.0, and it was uh, kind of hidden in the 4,000-page, uh, $1.7 trillion spending package. Um, but there's, you know, I, I kind of look at this as, kind of a kiss on the cheek it's it's not really um that you know there isn't that much to it but there are a couple of positive things here Mm -hmm. Um, one of them is that they increase the required minimum distribution age so anybody who has a 401k plan or an ira they must know that they have to take money out by a certain age uh this is the way for the government to get you to uh, pay as much taxes as possible. They've increased that age from 72 to 73. And in 10 years, that age is going to be 75. And that's partially because people are living longer. And the way the government has this is that if, if your money grows tax deferred, which it does in a 401k plan, it'll grow that much longer without being taxed. So that's a benefit. Um, now, employers want people to participate in 401k plans. It's it's good for their economics if they do. And the more people that participate, the better uh, the testing that goes on for employers. So they've offered uh, incentives to employers to be able to give to employees. And this is in the form of small gift cards that you can give. And there's other small incentives to get people to participate in a 401k plan, which uh, anybody out there who has a 401k plan that they can participate in, they should. Uh, it's, it's easily one of the best savings plans uh, and the best way to save for retirement out there. Well, uh, at, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, well, I wanted to ask you about 401ks because they, they are so very common now, but still, uh, I'm understanding there are a lot of people who don't even know what a 401k is. Well, uh, and and that just goes back to financial literacy, and everybody should know what a 401k plan is because it is easily, you know, should be issued, it should be issued by your employer. And I'm sure you at the radio station have a 401k plan. Uh, Most places do, and not all the employees or employers match your contribution. And when they don't match it, a lot of people say, well, if they're not going to match it, I'm not going to do it, which Uh is just silly because you can participate and put money away pre-tax and the money grows tax deferred. So you're able to take responsibility for your own retirement. And this is called the defined contribution plan. And many years ago, some of your you know, older listeners will know, and, and maybe you have grandparents, they have something called a defined benefit plan. And a defined benefit plan is something that is issued by the employer. And this is something that you don't participate in, uh, but you don't have, uh, you, you have a definite benefit from, the for, from, from a defined benefit plan. And that is that you get a monthly stipend. Every single month, you'll get a certain amount of money from your pension plan. Uh, Pension plans and defined benefit plans are one and the same. Uh But a defined contribution plan is a 401k plan, and this is where you define the contribution that you're going to make, but you don't know what the end result's going to be because that's determined based on how well the funds do for you. So um, 55% of people uh, have fallen behind on their retirement savings or, or haven't even started a retirement savings account. Um, and it, would you say that it's because of financial illiteracy that uh, they really don't see the value of it or haven't really explored it or, or maybe even uh, think uh, I'm not smart enough to figure it out, so I'm not even going to try? I think a lot of it has to do with people having a hard time making ends meet. Because when you put money in a 401k plan, uh, that money is, is put away 
until you're at least age 59 and a half without uh, having to pay any penalties uh, for taking the money out. And I think most people are living paycheck to paycheck Mm. and can't afford to put that extra couple hundred dollars every pay period into a 401k plan. Uh, I think most people know that there's something out there, and and I think most people understand what a 401k plan is. Uh, but for those of you who don't, it, you know, you can go to Investopedia and look up uh, 401k plan. And it's pretty well, you know, laid out there. Uh, but most people, I think, it's because they want to have as much money as possible to make ends meet. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I, I guess you're right about that. Um, so, so what's the solution for those uh, who who are in that boat? Uh, they they really don't feel that they can afford to put aside money. Yeah, and the only thing I tell people is the pain that they feel today for you know not having that money to spend pales in comparison to the pain they're going to feel you know years from now when it's time for retirement and they don't have any money, and they don't have any ability to make that money. Uh, but, you know, you know, a lot of people just live with the idea that maybe they're going to hit the lottery one day or something really positive is going to happen. Uh, you know, and, and oftentimes it just doesn't happen, and then they're faced with, you know, some unfortunate circumstances. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a really tough thing. But once they start to see that money grow, and it's growing tax-deferred, then it's almost like a drug and they'll start to, and want to put more money away because it does grow pretty quickly. Ed Bitowski is with us this morning, financial expert. Uh, there are those who say that the best thing for you to do when you're trying to figure out if you can or cannot afford uh, to do anything really uh, is to take an accounting of what it is that you're spending your money on now and just look at your daily or weekly expenses and, and uh, analyze them a little bit uh, and, and if you do that, you're going to find out that you probably have a little bit more at your disposal than you really thought you did. Yeah. I mean, even $100 a month, that's $1,200 a year. And if your employer contributes, let's say, 50%, you know, now you have $1,800 um, in, in a tax-deferred vehicle. And if you grow it at 10%, that $1,800 becomes $3,600 in 7.2 years. And then that becomes, uh, you know, then, then, you know, then you double that number and you've got yourself, you know, a really nice beginning to retirement. And that's just off of one year. Um, so I encourage everybody to participate in a 401k plan if they can. Ed Butowski is our guest here this morning on Indiana in the Morning. Out of this uh, Secure Act uh, 2.0, um, were there other things that uh, are in there that you say say to yourself, okay, it was so big, it was like 4,000 pages or something like that. It was so big that it took us a while to sift through and find out where the advantages are. Did you find some other things? Yeah, um, there's, there's also some hardship uh, rules where if you have hardship, you can take out up to $1,000 a year without being taxed on it. Um, and or without being penalized. And if you pay it back within a year, then you can do it again the following year. Uh, but if you don't pay it back, you have three years where you can't do it. And this also has to do with uh, not just hardship and financial needs, but if you are a victim of domestic abuse, you can also do this. And, and, and something that I found really interesting was the searchable database. There's so many people who started 401k plans or might not even known that they were participating in a 401k plan. Like my daughter didn't even know she had a 401k plan from one of her employers uh, and, or one of her, yeah, one of her employers. And that there's a searchable database where you can put your name in and find out if you have any old 401k plans that you've left someplace. And shockingly, there's over a trillion dollars of unclaimed benefits oh. out there. <laughs> That's amazing. And your own daughter was in that boat, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, but yeah, at least she was saving. So uh, sometimes it's even better not to know. This way it just saves and grows. <laughs> you don't know it's there until that moment when you do, and then you realize that you've, you've saved without even me- intending to. Well, Ed, where are we going to find out more about all of this? Well, anybody can go online and just put in Secure 2.0. Uh, Kiplinger has a really good summary of uh, the main benefits of the four of, of the secure 2.0 act. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, I encourage anybody to read about it. But it's you know it's very boring, dry stuff. Uh, but but then again, so is retirement planning. Uh, so, but but it's important to know everything you can. Yeah, and that's what makes retirement exciting is the fact that the money's all taken care of. Ed Vitalski, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Appreciate it. 